The word spirit, I think alone, is a good description of Paula. There's some people, when you meet them, their spirit is contagious. So they have just sort of this energy level about them, and Paula's one of those people. Paula knows how to bridge the gap between business and community. She genuinely wants to help other people thrive professionally. Paula is just a very effective communicator, and she's very human and down to earth. She brings out the best in people. I think people are the most fascinating part of life, and I really try to change the world. And we can do that if we believe that. She's there to be an advocate for the Chamber, day in and day out. Paula is great to work with. We always partner together on um, great events in Cahos, such as the Chamber Breakfast with Ron Canistrary. I love the opportunity that the Chamber provides for us to have one-on-one -on -one contact with our elected officials. What she does for the Women's Business Council is reflective of what she does throughout the community. It is one of the greatest um, rewards to know that I've gotten to a point in my life where I can actually help others. The Bright Ideas Conference. Um, again, that was an idea that we bounced off Paula and said, what do you think? You have to get outside of the box, you have to think differently, and you have to freshen up your approach to things all the time. And the Bright Ideas Conference is a great way to be reminded of that. She understands how to be a successful businesswoman, but at the same time, she's a successful wife and mother at home. Paul is a great role model. She understands that you need to have that work-life balance. Paula is so involved in the capital region in this area with different community projects. I don't think you realize until you're involved with your chamber how much it can do for you. Paul Sapera just understands and has a vision of how to make a difference in our communities. She and Capcom are a draw for other members to become more involved with the Chamber. It's just like having her as an extension of the Chamber staff. She should be given an award like this because she's probably the one that would be the last one to expect to get it and the one that most deserves it. She's an ordinary person that does extraordinary things on a daily basis for our community that people don't even know about. Being the recipient of the Spirit of the Chamber Award is one of the proudest moments of my career.